let's look at another problem from the topic complex numbers. Once again, a previous problem. It says if mod z minus 4 is less than mod z minus 2, then its solution is right. So they've given a restriction on your complex number, and given that restriction, they want you to first find a solution which will satisfy this restriction. That is what the problem is. So it, it, it is always very advisable for you whenever you have a problem from complex numbers, try using the geometry, right. So you can obviously do it algebraically, we will see if we can visualize this geometrically first. What do we, what, what do I mean by mod z minus 4, right. So mod z minus 4 is basically, this is a complex number, 4 is a complex number, which is actually on the x axis, so this is 1, 2, 3 and this is 4. So this centered here, z is some complex number which is at some distance, mod z minus 4 would mean the distance of that complex number from 4, right. So let your complex number be here, let this be some z. So mod z minus 4 is this distance, right. And this is z minus 2. So 2 is here, alright. And from the same z, the distance 2 is basically your z minus 2. Let this be x, let this be y. The condition here is this length should be greater than this length. So your y should be greater than x. That is what the condition is. So that is how you visualize this geometrically, right. So when you visualize it geometrically, you can also come up with certain tricks to do it geometrically also. But for now, I will just take the algebraic method like the algebraic root. I will assume z to be equal to some x plus i y. What do you mean by x plus i y? This the x coordinate comma y coordinate, right. And because this, this axis is the imaginary axis, that is the reason why I have a y. So this is how I represent a complex number. Now mod z minus 4 would mean, so first of all, let me calculate z minus 4. So x minus 4 plus i y. Let's also calculate z minus 2. This is x minus 2 plus i y, right. So what is mod z minus 4? It is nothing but under root x minus 4 whole square plus y square and mod z minus 2 is nothing but under root x minus 2 whole square plus y square, right. So what you are told now is that these mods, this mod has to be less than this mod. So under root x minus 4 whole square plus y square should be less than mod z minus 2 which is under root x minus 2 whole square plus y square, right. Now remember you can square them, why can you, how can you square them? Because you know that this quantity is positive and this quantity is positive. So while squaring there is a, there is some complication, right. Sometimes you might have something like this, minus 2 is less than 1, right. But when you square it, then you can't say that 4 will be less than 1, right. This will become wrong. 4 has to be greater than 1, this is right. So when you square such things, there is a complication always involved because when negative numbers come, you don't know how it is. But here you have a root and root of anything is always positive. So because these two quantities are positive, I can straight away square it. So I'll have x minus 4 square plus y square should be less than x minus 2 square plus y square. Now you can cancel y squares. we will have x square minus 8x, right, plus 16 is less than x square minus 4x plus 4, right. So x square goes away and then you bring or you can take this 2x that side and bring this 4 here. You have 16 minus 4 which is 12 is greater than 8x minus 4x which is 4x. So x should be greater than 3, right. So the correct option is this. What, do, what is x basically? It is a real part of z. So real part of z is x and imaginary part of z is y, right. So the real part of z which is your x is greater than 3 is what I am getting. So this is the answer.